at 5. A teacher in the Pflugerville ISD faced with losing his job is accused of plotting to kill people at his high school. But the planned attack at Conley High School was stopped thanks to a friend who reached out for help. KXAN's Chris Sadegi is live at the Pflugerville School District headquarters with our top story. Well, Robert, a lot of times people will get frustrated, say things they don't really mean, comments like, oh, I could kill my boss, things along those lines. Well, in this case, police say they have good reason to believe that those threats weren't just empty, but this teacher actually planned on carrying them out. 45-year-old Lou Tron has been with the district since August of 2006, but during the yearly process where the district decides what teachers will be brought back the following year, they informed him that he would not be invited back or have a job with the district once the school year ended. Then last Thursday, the math teacher made a comment to a friend that he was waiting for a gun store to open so he could buy a gun, go to the school, and start shooting people before killing himself. Wisely, that friend took him to Shoal Creek Hospital and police were called. In an interview with officers, Tran named specific targets, people he was going to kill and how he was going to kill them, according to the arrest affidavit. The district says safety is always concern number one, and police say the threats were serious, and his friend and save people's lives. Tran uh, had a detailed plan of what he wanted to do and how he wanted to kill the people at the school. Um, and it was just uh, basically his friend saved a lot of people and saved Tran's life. The safety of our students and our staff is a top priority, even over our academic responsibility. Now, Tran is start charged with a third-degree felony for retaliation. Technically, he is still with the district, and the district says that because this is a personnel matter, he still will be given the opportunity for a hearing that all the teachers involved in the non-renewal process are given. Now, Tran is still given that hearing and is still a part of the district. Technically, right now, he is on administrative leave. We're live in Pflugerville. Chris Sadegi, KXAN, Austin News.